Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 12, lesson 5, classify quadrilaterals. And the page number is uh, 929. Okay. When we started this chapter, geometry, the first lesson was about polygons, right? So we took uh, many types of polygons in it, triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, okay? The first lesson, lesson two, uh, lesson three, I think, we took about triangles, and now we are going to take the quadrilaterals. So we will classify the quadrilaterals. Here we have uh, five types of quadrilaterals, guys. Let me show you here. Okay, so the first one is trapezoid, second one parallelogram, rectangle, square, and rhombus. Okay, let me show you according to their attributes. The first one trapezoid, quadrilateral with exactly one pair of opposite sides parallel. Okay, I hope you guys know what are parallel lines. Uh, from grade 4 if you don't remember uh, I think before two days I uploaded a video for grade 4 in chapter 14 lesson 2 I think so you can take uh, you can see that video I will provide the link in the description to know what are parallel what are intersecting and what are perpendicular lines okay you can see here these two opposite lines this one and this one these two opposite lines are parallel lines. Parallel lines are those lines which never meet each other at any point. If you continue them, if you continue this line, you continue this line, they will not meet each other. Okay? But you can see that these two, this one and this one, these two are not parallel. If you continue this one and this one, they will meet at one point. Right? So if you keep moving this line here and this line here up they will meet at one point right guys so uh, let me show you let me draw it for you guys here if I continue this line and this line so they will meet here right so these two lines are not parallel they are intersecting lines but these two lines, if we continue them, they will never meet each other. So these two are parallel lines. So what is a trapezoid? A trapezoid in which you have a pair of opposite sides parallel, like just one pair, not two pairs. Only this one and this one, they are parallel. The other two are not parallel, okay? Okay, this is what trapezoid. Now the second one, let me erase this for you guys. Okay. Now the second one here, the second one is parallelogram. Okay. The second one is parallelogram. And this one you have two pairs of parallel, two pairs of parallel sides quadrilateral with opposite sides congruent and parallel okay congruent mean guys equal they're same here you can see these two sides are not same these two sides are not same in length right but here in parallelogram you can see that these two opposite sides are parallel if we continue them they will not meet these two opposite sides are parallel and they are congruent also they are of same length also right so the first thing let us repeat again in trapezoid just one pair of parallel lines the other are not parallel and they are not uh, same in length but in parallelogram we have two pairs of parallel sides opposite sides are parallel to each other and uh, they are equal in length. The opposite sides are equal in length, like rectangle. Okay. In rectangle, the same thing we have like parallelogram. The opposite sides are parallel to each other. 
they are of same length but just one extra thing that rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles you guys know that what is a right angle a 90 degree is a right angle if you guys don't remember this thing also you can uh, see my video for grade 4 I think chapter 14 lesson 5 I will provide the link for that one also in description uh, which will tell you what is right angle uh, acute or obtuse on, and how to measure the angles okay so you can see a 90 degree is a right angle and this symbol this small symbol it is showing 90 degree so a parallelogram with four right angles we call it rectangle here you can see that in the parallelogram we don't have the right angles okay guys but in rectangle we have the same characteristics of parallelogram but with the four right angles also here opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are of same length opposite sides are of same length but here no right angle and here four right angles so this is the difference between parallelogram and rectangle okay now the next thing is square it is also a parallelogram it have all the characteristics of parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are of same length but it have two more characteristics like the rectangle four right angles you can see four right angle okay and another one that all of its four sides are equal so when all of its four sides are equal we call it square when it opposite sides are equal and parallel and have right angles also we call it rectangle okay when opposite sides are equal and parallel and no right angle that is parallelogram and when no side is equal just one pair of opposite sides are parallel like this one okay and the other one is not parallel that is called trapezoid okay there is one more thing rhombus it is also a parallelogram these all three are have the characteristics of parallelogram but they have some extra characteristics for their own okay so see opposite sides are parallel like parallelogram opposite sides are of same length like parallelogram okay but parallelogram with four sides congruent okay so all of its four sides are congruent like square but the difference between square and rhombus no right angles in rhombus and four right angles in square got it guys so i hope you guys understand this thing a square has all attributes of rectangle and a rhombus okay let us move to the next one here so this one is it a rectangle no in rectangle you must have a right angle so no right angles here so it is a parallelogram okay down here yes we have 90 degree now right angle so it is a rectangle okay this one with the shape you guys know that it is a rhombus okay this one opposite sides no right angle so it's a parallelogram this one from the shape you know it's a rhombus okay here uh, guys I think I need to make the part 2 also for this video to continue with you guys uh, I will upload part 2 also so if this video finished don't worry okay so let us stop this video and start the part 2